Havaday, thank you so much for joining us here on our Facebook Live on KUAM News. I'm Carmen Victoria Trulahi here at Asiga in Malolo, where we are joined by GFD spokesperson Kevin Riley. Um, now, we are still searching for the 45-year-old crab hunter who's gone missing. He was, um, again, missing for about 19 hours now. Now, GFD spokesperson Kevin Riley is going to give us the latest. So if you're just joining us right now, we are here in Malolo. Kevin? Correct. Uh, we started our search last night at a four, or yesterday evening at 4 p.m. Uh, we're continuing again um, throughout the day. Uh, currently, we have the Guam National Guard's Lakota helicopter assisting with aerial searches. Um, we have 12 people uh, from our rescue unit, including um, three civilians. Uh, one was the person that went um, crab hunting with him yesterday, along with his uh, two sons that are helping us locate exactly where he was last seen, where they were separated, and. Um, we're branching out north and south along the coastline and along the cliffside. Sure. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the terrain um, that we're seeing here? I know earlier you said it was kind of like a zigzag um, in that two-mile radius that you were searching. Right. Of course, uh, it's typical, um, you know, limestone coral formations uh, with a, a lot of crevices. Um, with our guys, you know, it, it's not just going to be a straight, uh, a straight height. It's going to be, you know, um, like you said, zigzagging in order to get to one spot. Uh, so the area coverage, which is like in, in that two mile radius, it is going to take a lot of time and it turns out to be a lot more distance than, than normal. Sure. Now it is almost 11 a.m. and of course um, every moment counts when you are looking for someone in these jungles. Um, can you tell us, what do we know so far? Have we seen any signs of the missing hiker? So far, um, we, we don't have any, any evidence uh, yet. Um, however, we're going to continue searching. We do have a GPD Special Operations Division that will be joining us around noon uh, to add more boots on the ground. Sure, now I said missing hiker, excuse me there. He was a, a crab hunter out in these areas. Correct. Now, um, tell me a little bit more about what the rescue operation looks like. I know we also saw helicopters. I believe they are from the National Guard. Correct, so that's a guard's helicopter. Um, you know, we, we reach out to them through the Coast Guard who is uh, essentially deals with military assets. Um, and they agreed to come out to help us with the search. They'll be on the scene for at least another hour uh, searching until they have to refuel. Um, after that, you know, we're gonna bring our guys back, reevaluate the situation and see where we're gonna go from there. Sure, now of course timing is everything and so um, I'm sure our viewers in Facebook wanna know um, where are we gonna go from here? How long are you guys gonna be out here? Are you gonna continue the search um, until we find him? Yes, of course that depends on the conditions um, of the, you know, of our weather conditions mostly. But yes, we're, we're gonna continue searching. Nice, and again, um, maybe can you just list some of the organizations and the entities one more time for helping in this operation? Of course, uh, you know, we have ourselves out here at GPD. Uh, Civil Defense has brought out their mobile command post for us um, with the assistance there. Uh, Coast Guard does do our, our asset brokering for, for our military assets. Um, and the family has been, you know, more than supportive. The neighbors, uh, the people in this, uh, this area have been helping us out a lot too. Great. Um, again, for all of those who are just joining us here on our Facebook Live video, um, we spoke to the family earlier who is just set up right outside where he first went in um, on the trail and they are just waiting, um, hopeful, very hopeful that they'll find some answers um, for their loved one. Um, Kevin, you know, uh, you guys have been really putting out a good effort here for the rescue mission. Is this the first crab hunting incident that we've seen in a while? I can't speculate in a while. We do have a lot of missing hikers, you know, um, and, and a lot of situations like this. But we come out here, you know, we give the 100% that we can of our personnel, um, and you know, all the other agencies as well give, give their resources, and, and we all come together and try and, and make this a, a successful, a successful mission. Sure. And just my final question here, Kevin, um, what would you tell the people of Guam is your motto, or how do you guys approach the situation when there is um, you know, an issue of someone being lost in these jungles, especially a uh, crab hunter, and he is alone. What we, we, you know, a lot of our rescues, we take it personally. Um, you know, we treat it as if it were family, um, and, and we give our best effort. We just 100%, uh, you know, give it out there for them. Sure. So again, thank you so much, Kevin, for joining Absolutely. us. I'm here on Facebook Live. We will have more for you at our 6 p.m. news, but again, we spoke to the family and they are extremely hopeful that they will find uh, Mr. Guerrero.